a death field of Russian damaged and destroyed equipment, somewhere in Donetsk region. Forty seventh Brigade of Ukraine repelling Russian attacks on the Avdivka front. Another attempt by Russians to break through the defense of our 47th Brigade ended with burning equipment and mountains of corpses. The enemy used two tanks, five MTLB and assault groups. The forces of our artillery and Bradleys stopped the equipment and then kamikaze drones destroyed armored vehicles and finished off the remnants of assault groups hiding in buildings and basements. We publish one of the episodes. This tank was stopped by artillery and our FPVs finished it. Two Russian trucks transporting munition collided in Dovzhansk, occupied Ukraine near the border with Russia. Ukrainian steel hornets test their new incendiary ammunition. The new ammo can be dropped from a height of up to 30 meters and are capable of burning through a steel plate of 8 millimeter. The ammunition type is from 750 grams to 2.5 kilograms. How to destroy a Russian BTR-82A in three steps. One, drop an anti-tank mine from a drone. Two, an enemy APC hits a landmine on a road. Three, enjoy the result. Captured Abrams is displayed in Russia. At least they will see how a real tank looks like. Russian Meste as howitzer with a counter UAV screen and logs. На гусеницах имеет, наверное, самую надежную защиту в своем классе. Броню экипаж дополнил деревянным срубом и сверху металлическую крышу возвели для максимальной уверенности. Polyethylene warehouse burned down in the Moscow suburb of Romanskoye. Russian Ministry of Defense video of Russian Southern Group of Forces deploying a smoke screen with TDM-2K vehicles to cover the movement of Russian army. Тем самым мы вводим заблуждение. Он не видит выдвигающихся групп, а когда он их может обнаружить, они уже наносят ему максимальное огневое поражение. Длина не просматриваемая часть аэрозольной завесы машины ТД-2К не менее 1000 метров. Protests in Tbilisi against the foreign agents law continue. Georgian media report that law enforcers beat up the head of the largest opposition party in Georgia, the United National Movement, Levan Kabishvili, and the leader of the Citizens Political Association, Aleko Elisashvili. Local television company Formula reported that American lawyer Ted Jonas was beaten during the dispersal of the protest. 
His teeth were knocked out and his nose was broken. In the video, protesters chant, Putin Kulo, Putin is a dickhead, a chant that originated in Ukraine. Tbilisi tonight, a regime that allows its own people to be shot has lost all legitimacy. Groups on both sides have reconstituted with full-scale clashes beginning once again between pro-Israeli and pro-Palestinian supporters at UCLA. LAPD and CHP riot officers are standing behind the clashes, but have reportedly stated that cannot intervene until the arrival of additional units. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.